What's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? All right, so if you clicked on this video, then obviously you're here for a reason. And for that reason, I'm here to help you out, okay? Okay. Anyways, before we get into this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you're not gonna exit that out. Scratch. I'm gonna be telling y'all how to start a YouTube channel with just your phone. Now, I know y'all have seen and went on all those videos and those successful YouTubers who's like, Oh, you know, we have a Canon 2000 FXG6 for $500, and I also got this microphone from Best Buy for $300, and then I got this big ring light for $120. Y'all, that's straight BS, okay? You do not need all that to start a YouTube channel. I feel like if you're gonna be telling somebody how to start a YouTube channel, you know you didn't start on YouTube. You know you didn't start your YouTube channel off spending five to a thousand dollars just on equipment to record videos. And I, I just feel like if we're starting, you know majority of the people are on a budget. Not everybody have money to be going to go buy all this expensive equipment. So why not just keep it real and help everybody out? But see, they just want the views. That's all that is. I'm gonna keep it real with y'all. Okay. So if you got your YouTube channel and you got your phone, then you already got the first two steps down pat. Like, okay, you already got it. So I, I know y'all see my food right here. I'm going to just eat after I record this video because I want to go and get it out the way. So I made notes so that way I don't forget what to tell y'all or whatever like that because I'll just be talking and rambling and doing all that good stuff. And I don't want to leave anything out because I'm here to help you. So the first thing you want to do before you even think about recording is make sure you have storage on your phone. I feel like that's like one of the main things people forget about when it comes to recording because including me because I've sat there and recorded and the video stopped and I was sitting there for like a whole fucking hour and I had none of it recorded. And then that would make you not even want to like sit there and record the same thing over again. We don't need no notifications from your phone saying that your storage is full. Be prepared. Be prepared. Make sure you have storage. Check your phone, y'all. Check your phone. Next, we're going to be talking about lighting. I feel like this is another important step. So what I personally do is I will sit in front of my window or I will sit in front of my pink backdrop that you will see in my previous videos and stuff like that. I sit in front of my window because I love the natural light. I love the natural light that it gives me. And if you got electricity, you got light. You got a phone with a flash, you got light. The sun, y'all, the natural light is 100% free. So take advantage of it. Use it if you want to record in your car, if you want to go outside, y'all. The sun will give you the best light. I'm not even lying to you. Like, if it wasn't damn near 100 degrees outside, I'll probably be out there recording and all that good stuff, too. You do not want to record in a dark room, y'all. Please do not get on your phones and try to record in a dark room. It will not look right. Don't do it. That's a no-no. I went on Amazon Prime, and I got me a ring light and a tripod for, like, $35 or $36. It delivered to my day the same day because I use Amazon Prime. The ring light that I have is literally about 7 or 8 inches, so it's not that big. It don't give off as much light. And honestly, I don't even really use it, and I feel like my videos looked better without the ring light. Honestly, I'm being real with y'all. I'm keeping it 100. But if you feel like it would help, if you want to spend your money on all the extra, then do you boo-boo. Go ahead. But this is for the people that's on a budget. That's, that's starting off the same way I did. I don't think y'all be realizing how important it is to clean your lens. Clean your front lens, clean your back lens, get the fingerprints and the dust and all the, all the other stuff that y'all don't be thinking is on y'all camera lens. You want to clean that off, okay? And trust me, your video will look so much better. Like, I'm not even lying to you. Next, we're going to be talking about the setup. So, when you have your phone, if you don't have a tripod, like before I got a tripod, let me tell y'all what I was doing. I'll pull up a chair, I'll either use my dresser, I'll use the window seal, I'll get a bunch of books and boxes, shoe boxes, all this good stuff, and I'll stack it, and then I'll place my phone on there, and then I'll record. You have to improvise, you guys. You really have to improvise, especially if you don't have the money to just go out and buy a tripod. You definitely want to try to improvise. Use whatever you can to prop your phone up, like, literally. Sit in front of your window. Put, it, put your phone on something, and you'll be set. Once you get a tripod, y'all, 
that's gonna change your life i'm telling you because all my other videos i would literally be sitting there holding my phone was so exhausting and i just didn't want to do it and that's what made me start propping my phone up and then now i have a tripod so you know how you see how i'm moving on up and when you go on amazon prime or whatever to buy your ring light or a tripod or whatever like that make sure you go from low to high on the price okay you want to look at the cheapest stuff first okay because you don't want nothing that's popping up that's two three four hundred dollars that you like okay i cannot afford this so to save you all that extra scrolling just go from lower price to higher price it will save y'all so much trouble positioning your phone this is so important i think all this is important so just just take notes and keep up so when you position your phone before you record you want your phone to be faced horizontally landscape whatever you want to call it like a rectangle hor some people don't know the difference between horizontal and vertical so y'all horizontal vertical you don't want your phone in portrait mode i know my 6s is cracked don't talk about it you don't want your phone in portrait mode simply because if you record with your phone like this once you post it to youtube your video is going to be this this skinny this small and then on the side is going to be black bars that we don't want to see because it's definitely a distraction and i don't want to look at it either so you want to make sure it's a whole video all right so no portrait always horizontal this next step y'all is so debatable because i was actually having a hard time trying to figure out which camera to use my front camera or my back camera now i'm gonna tell y'all what works for me i personally prefer to use my back camera for one your back camera is super it's like way more clear than your front camera your front camera even if it's clean it won't be as clear as if you use the back with the front camera you'll tend to look at yourself a lot so in my previous videos i recorded with my front camera and i'll be sitting up there looking at myself and with the back camera i feel like i focus more on the lens you know i'm looking right into your soul i'm like right in front of you okay I'm trying to look right at y'all. We need to be having this conversation face-to-face, one-on-one. You feel me? So I'm not going to be looking somewhere else. I'm trying to look at y'all. So make sure that you are looking at your lens, people. Quietness. Quietness. So when you're recording, you want to make sure that you're in a quiet room or quiet environment, whatever the case may be only because you don't want a lot of noise in your background to the point that viewers are struggling to hear you so if you're outside and people can hear cars going past airplanes and stuff in the sky helicopters and all this good stuff that is natural noise we cannot help that i don't feel like that is that bad but if you got like a bunch of noise and music and banging and all this stuff in the background we don't want to hear that so just make sure you just wait till you got a quiet background or whatever like that and then record you want to make sure that you be yourself be confident okay have your own personality i think it's so important that when you start your youtube channel you definitely want to be yourself have your own personality and don't try to be like nobody else like i know y'all probably got your favorite youtubers and you like oh i want my channel to be like theirs because i think it's gonna be popping more and i think i'll get the subscribers and i'll get the views and yada 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 no you get subscribers and viewers from being original being authentic and being yourself so if you ain't got the personality to just be sitting up here just comfortable in a mug in front of the camera then maybe you need to take a step back readjust and get yourself together and wait before you record a video just wait i feel like once you're comfortable in front of the camera because if you if you are not comfortable recording in front of a camera and it's just you and the phone then it's a problem so just wait until you got yourself together and you you know a little bit more loose and open and then start recording so now that you got your lighting fixed you got your phone position right you're using your back camera now you are ready to record you are ready to record sis you're ready to record bro yeah now you're ready to press record and start your youtube channel and now if this video helped you and i gave some really good tips then make sure you comment down below what you like most about this video make sure you thumbs up this video hit that notification bell so you know the next time i post a video because i mean why the hell not y'all gotta know the next time i post a video you can't just be like 
oh, I don't know what the next time she's gonna post. And blah, blah, blah. if you hit that notification bell, you will know. That's gonna be the end of this video, you guys. Make sure you follow me on all my social medias. They're gonna be in the description box down below. So check out all my social media because I keep you guys updated mainly on my Instagram because I don't really be on Twitter like that. I do sometimes. But mainly on my Instagram is when I keep my followers updated. So make sure you follow me on all my social medias, okay? You got it? Okay, can you hear me? What are you going to do? You going to start your YouTube channel with your phone? Hmm? You are? You going to use my tips? That's good. Go ahead and start your YouTube channel. Get them viewers, get them subscribers, and blow up. I really hope this video helps anybody who's watching because I know when I first started my channel, it was definitely a struggle because a bitch didn't know which way to turn her phone, which light to use. Like, I was looking orange than the MFR. I didn't know none of that. The quality was bad. So, yeah. Go ahead and start your channel, boy, and I will see y'all in the next video so stay tuned